Kingdom Hearts fans and crazy theories sort of go hand in hand. It's only half the fun of being immersed in the Kingdom Hearts story, reacting to new reveals and talking about what could come next while trying to predict and analyze every twist and turn that could possibly happen along the way. I'd credit this for one of the biggest reasons the Kingdom Hearts community is so loyal to their franchise. People want to see their theories answered, whether they were right or wrong, or just overall what will or what could come next. Which brings us to today's discussion. The most popular theory in Kingdom Hearts. If you've been around the community for even just a couple of years, you'd already know what this is. Basically, anything surrounding the Master of Masters is of popular discussion with Kingdom Hearts fans, especially regarding his identity. The most popular being that our main character, Sora, is the Master of Masters. There has been a recent uptrend in this theory again as of late. So a few nights ago on stream, we did a little bit of a deep dive and discussion about the Master of Masters while reviewing this very very interesting document I found attempting to detail everything regarding this theory. All the evidence, lots of notes, thoughts, it's a very good read. I won't go super deep into everything laid out in the document from this person's perspective, but I will link it down below for you to read yourself as I tackle some of the common key points and images that I found fascinating. I'll be breaking this down into a few sections, but if you enjoy Kingdom Hearts and theory talks like this, then hit that subscribe button down below and that bell icon so you can never miss another Kingdom Hearts video. First, let's talk about mannerisms, which I'll use this image here in the document for reference. The mannerisms argument has been around for a while, people calling back to scenes where the master's mannerisms are very similar to characters we know today. This argument specifically was used a lot for Demix in the early days of Kingdom Hearts 3's release, though it wasn't just physical movement similarities that people pointed out for Demix, it was also the goofy personality Demix portrayed that people thought was familiar to how the master acted when he would joke around with his students. Aside from that, there was never really much to go off of with Demix for that one, especially considering we don't have much to go off of with Demix in general. We still haven't seen him in the Kingdom Hearts Key Saga yet as well, so he could pop up in Missing Link perhaps. Though this mysterious nature around Demix's identity is a motivator for why he could have had the ultimate surprise of being the master. This image, I will admit, when I was reading this document, did make me think, like, okay, maybe they're onto something. I could sit here and nitpick little details about these images not being exactly the same, but my main thoughts about this image after processing for a bit is just that I don't think it's enough to point towards Sora being the master. I do think these cutscenes being in the same game is very suspicious however, and if they weren't in the same game, I'd be more inclined to not believe this or just blow it off completely, as I do partially think that almost any character with slightly more outgoing of a personality would have mannerisms similar to these in a JRPG. Though again, I think it's very suspicious that these poses are this similar while also being in the same game although it being main game versus DLC. Personality wise, I don't see Sora being similar to the Master in that sense. I see the Master's personality in way more of a condescending and sarcastic goofiness compared to Sora's being more similar to a kid in a candy store being excited about everything and every new friend he meets. Which to contradict that statement a little bit, I also don't think Sora is as goofy as the Master is. I find Sora's outgoing nature to be a lot more endearing and comforting rather than just being for the sake of it. There's definitely moments you can point to where Sora cracks a joke or is having fun, but I don't think in any Kingdom Hearts game really is he trying to be a comedian, which is something I'd say the Master is a lot closer to. The Master switches between being serious and funny almost like they're two different personalities, which is something Sora never really does. Minus maybe Dream Drop Distance, and I'd even slightly argue that, I think Sora is extremely consistent with how he can react towards things. Let's talk about more points though. This popular point being something I find the most interesting, the gazing eye. When we discovered that the gazing eye was the master's way to see into the future, the community went crazy and it was kind of a full circle moment for some things. Finding all these keyblades that had gazing eyes in them, trying to figure out just where the Book of Prophecies went up to, it was a fun time. The gazing eye, however, has made its way into being part of the evidence for Sora being the master of masters, which I do think is a little wild, but is not the most far-fetched thing at all. The gazing eye is a bluish color and the document points out with multiple images that in Kingdom Hearts 3 there are an insane amount of zoom-ins on Sora's eye, which I cannot deny. Now this is a thing Kingdom Hearts has done for some time, the eye zoom-in isn't something unique 
unique to Kingdom Hearts 3. They typically did it often in the past to showcase characters connected to Xehanort. These were also hence the use to tease Zigbar being Lushu as well in previous games. Though in Cage 3, it's kind of crazy how often they zoom in on Sora's eye or make Sora's eye kind of the focus of the image. I never would have thought it was teasing something bigger though because most of these scenes aren't just completely random zoom-ins. They are often attempting to show an emotion Sora is feeling before they zoom out. The gazing eye to me originally did not look like a human eye. My guess would have been that it's some sort of spell the master did rather than him just walking around with one eye like Lushu over here. When I look deeper at the gazing eye, it may sound a bit odd, but it kind of looks to me like a black hole with the universe and everything around it being sucked into it. Something that light can't even escape from. It's interesting because that's something that would be very thematic or on point for Kingdom Hearts and could hint at the masters or darkness's overall Goal. The big thing that I believe made this theory popular is a very bizarre glitch that happens during the Data Young Xehanort boss fight. During Young Xehanort's DM, if you go into photo mode as soon as possible, you can see Sora's eyes get bloodshot and the emphasis on his eye becomes a lot more noticeable compared to normal. Sora's pupil does look more narrow here and you could perhaps argue the eye has more texture here as well. Also the fact that it happens while he is using his time powers is very bizarre and makes Makes a lot of people think this was a very specific glitch or a very specific thing that happened in the game. However, while there would be questions that if this was a nod to Sora being the master, then why not go all the way and make this even more similar to the gazing eye, not just slightly if it was intentional. However, this remains a very unexplained moment that happens during the data fight that I must admit is just extremely bizarre. Some of you who have been following me for a bit or who have been watching the video so far may already know, but I'm not the craziest about Sora being the master of masters. My stance on it has changed slightly though. I used to be a lot more like, no, I don't want this to happen, this would ruin the series, etc. Nowadays, I'm a little bit more open to it, but conditionally. As in, based on the theories and the evidence and the foreshadowing that people are presenting now, if it were to happen, I don't know if I'd be a fan of it. But if from this point going forward, and I mean multiple games worth of solid build-up and anticipation, using Kingdom Hearts 3 as kind of a starting point for the foreshadowing, if off of this and multiple games into the future, they slowly start to build up Sora being the master, eventually leading to a big review of some sorts, I could maybe tag along with it. I also don't mind or actively prefer the idea of Sora maybe being a sort of parallel to the master, kind of like how Yazora is represented to almost be a parallel to Sora. The master in this case would still be his own character, but it's in contrast to Sora's existence, rather than the master just straight up being like a past or a future version of Sora who went to the past, wrote the book of prophecies, and did all of this. The reason I'm so particular when it comes to this theory and kind of my judgment of it is Sora is my favorite character in like anything. Just media period. So a drastic change or addition to his lore, like him being the master of masters, does sort of seem like it would take away from the Sora I've grown up with. I'm not along this ride with Sora to necessarily see him become the most powerful being in existence or anything like that. That's not the fulfillment I get out of Sora's character. Instead of being a kind-hearted kid who just wanted to save his friends on Destiny Islands, to being this being of manipulation and chaos that is the master of masters, even if it's in the future or the past, would be a lot to take in. I'm not against Kingdom Hearts evolving and taking different notes with its worlds, its characters, or its story, but Sora is one of those characters for me I don't really want to see change that drastically. I want to see him mature and grow, but if a plot twist as big as that were to happen, especially suddenly, it need to take a lot of build up and care for me to eventually be convinced of that idea. But I don't write the story for Kingdom Hearts. This is a popular theory for a reason. So perhaps Nomura does see this as a cool twist nowadays. And what bigger twist could happen in the Kingdom Hearts series than the main character, the focus point of the entire franchise, while turning out to be the conductor of this whole thing pretty much, being the master. I'm definitely going to be along for the ride no matter what happens. I'm sure this won't be the last time I talk about this theory either, as the longer they hold off on revealing who the master or what the master is, the stronger I think the Sora is the master of masters theories will be getting. I truly want to know what you guys think though. How do you feel about Sora being the master of masters? Let me know down below. If you enjoyed, however, be sure to leave a like, 
share that with a friend or family member and last but not least if you have not already and want to become a part of the union all you have to do is hit that subscribe button down below my name is prodigy and i will talk to you guys soon peace out to you guys bye now she's a daydreamer